Hi, my name is Vache Saponian with our Glendale Unified School District News for the week of April 5th. Join our first speaker series to commemorate the Armenian Genocide. It will take place this Wednesday, April 7th from 1 to 2 p.m. It will feature Matthew Karhanian, who is a second generation Armenian American. His four grandparents are from Western Armenia and both of his grandmothers survived deportation during the summer of 1915. To join this speaker series, register at www.gusc.net slash APR7. The virtual event will be moderated by Glendale Unified Board President, Dr. Armina Karapedia. Congratulations to Wilson Middle School student, Angelica Gamboa. She has been the first young lady to be Gen Yes certified. She's gone above and beyond in her teacher assistant project. And she is also the founder and leader of the Gen Yes and the Wilson News team. Congratulations to Angelica and the other Wilson students on your effort to being Gen Yes certified. Check out Glendale High School's virtual April show. The art students have been working on claymation, surrealism, and tessellation, land art, and the Getty Challenge, instinct drawing, alternative sketchbooks, and more. Visit www.ghsexplosion.com to see this virtual April show. Hoover High School seniors went and picked up their senior sweatshirts last week. You can now register for our new April Parent Academy sessions. The first one takes place on April 7th from 5.30 to 6.30. It will focus on parent information for elementary history, social science, adoption. Dolores Huerta Day will take place on April 10th. Dolores Clara Fernandez Huerta is an American labor leader and civil rights activist who with Cesar Chavez is a co-founder of the National Farm Workers Association, which later became the United Farm Workers. And joining me today is a senior. Um, she is the Girls Who Code president, Clarice Shaw. Thank you for coming, Clarice. Thank you for having me. Of course, not a problem. So there's a few questions we would like to ask you so our students um, can get more information about Girls Who Code. So my first question is, what is the goal for this club? Um, so the girl, goal of Girls Who Code is to close the gender gap in tech um, today and in the future, the gender gap in computer science is getting worse, surprisingly. Um, and here are the stats. In 1995, only 37% of computer scientists were women. Now it's only 24%. So the percent will continue to decline if we do nothing. And we know the biggest drop off of girls in computer science occurs between the ages of 13 and 17. And Girls Who Code is changing the game. We believe that diverse ability, culture, identity, and opinion makes us stronger. We're not just preparing our ladies to enter the workforce, we're preparing them to lead it, to improve it, and to radically transform it. Okay. Uh, what has been your favorite memory of this club? Oh, that's, that's a tricky question. Um, but I, if I had to choose one, my favorite memory of Girls Who Code would be our first meeting in our on, in second semester when we began working on the Clubs of Hoover website. Um, there were so many people who turned up that it was so amazing to see everyone come together from all different types of interests and backgrounds to learn to how to code and make new friends. The amount of positive energy everyone had was contagious. I thought students would feel overwhelmed with the idea of learning a whole new language, um, which is HTML. TML, CSS, and JavaScript, but everyone was eager to learn and launch our website. And looking at everyone's excitement made me feel thrilled. And last question, why should people join Girls Who Code? Every girl and non-binary student should join Girls Who Code because they'll join a supportive sisterhood like I did and learn the computer science skills you need to make an impact in your community and the world. You meet inspiring female role models in the field and get an inside look at the tech world through guest speakers by the world's top companies like Twitter, AT&T, Bank of America, and Walmart. By being a part of Girls Who Code, you are taking a stand and making an impact on what matters to you by learning to code. In addition, you will be learning in a supportive environment and making lifelong and inspiring friendships. Okay, perfect. Clarice, thank you for coming. My guest for today was Girls Who Code President Clarice Cha. That's it for now. Make sure to follow our Glendale Unified School District platforms. The Glendale Unified School District News will return next week.